Welcome to another episode of the Dante Show Network. Today we are going to Miami-Dade County where you got robbers, killers, and booty banners all through this prison. Let's get to it. Welcome to another episode of the Dante Show Network Story Times where I tell prison stories, hood stories, and supernatural stories. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. If you ever find yourself in Miami, Florida, do not get locked up because you're going to end up in a place where Dante like to call is the Terror Dome. The Terror Dome is a place where things just don't make no sense. The Terror Dome is a place where right is wrong and wrong is definitely right. The Terror Dome is a place where you can be laying on your back in prison and a man end up on top of you with a knife. Now, this isn't no scare straight programming that I'm doing right here. This is letting y'all know the harsh realities of what goes down in the penitentiary. Ward 6B, anything but cozy. Eight to 16 inmates to a cell. Behind metal bars, so the war. When I was in Oakland County, um, this is how we were stacked up. It was eight of us. It was I told y'all a story about the time when this chomo came in there and the next cell over, this dude was basically banging him out and um yeah, so this really looked like the setup from Oakland County Jail where you got a bump a bump bag right here, a bump bag right there, and on the other side a bump bag right there, a bump bag right there, so it fits eight people. And then the shower is directly in the middle towards the back with one toilet. So I'm familiar with this setup. And one of the most important things in these type of setups, man, you got to take a shower because it can stink up really fast up in there. That's all a quick question right quick. Do y'all think that the death penalty should be abolished? Let me know in the comment section. And before y'all give y'all opinion right quick, just always remember. Uh, well, I was about to say, just put yourself in the shoes of the victim family. I say prison is way better than the county jail because it's 23 and 1. And sometimes it's... 24 you don't you just don't get out um and i'm not saying that to say that old oh, prison is a good place to be like it's candy land no it's still prison but being in that county jail you never get out and they talking about a yard what yard all right so we just gonna go ahead and point out the obvious i know y'all see that my face is on my coffee mug right here so y'all like dante you were so full of yourself but listen, if you want one of these coffee mugs, the Dante Show coffee mug to sit on your desk, you know, get in contact with me right there. My telephone number is right there. Go ahead and get you a, co a coffee mug with the Dante Show on it. All right. Not sure because I never watch these videos. I'm watching it at real time, just like y'all watch it. But I can almost tell y'all for sure if he went in, if he went into a adult penitentiary at the age of 16, and we ain't gonna act like. These dudes in Florida ain't super freaky. If y'all don't believe me, just look it up. These dudes, I actually believe Freaky Freddy, you know, Freaky Frederick that I be talking about in my prison stories. I think dude from Florida, either he from Florida or he from Georgia. But, um, yeah, uh, the reason why I even bring that freaked out stuff right now is because these juveniles go into these prisons after taking people's lives and doing heinous crimes, and they don't realize that they're going into a system where it's men that have been in there for a very, very long time, and this is all they do. And when you come in there, it's like you fresh meat. You're like your youth. It's, it's like an older man dating a younger woman. So, Eddie in 30 years, and... Do y'all think he's telling the truth? Let me know in the comment section. Do y'all think that... He became a victim and he lying? Or do y'all think that by the grace of God, he did not become a victim? I don't know. I Dante don't know. I may. 
if you come to prison and you got less than five years and they get you into a tank or a pod or a dormitory where it's mostly lifers at, do not tell people when you're about to get out of prison. Because there's guys in there that's like this guy. I'm not saying this guy um, specifically, but there's guys in there that will get jealous and trick you up out of your time. Meaning they feel like, oh, you only got five years and now you got three months left to go on your census. Well, I'm about to do something for you to be in here for another five or 10 or 15 years in here with me. These cats do things like that. I'm not saying he does it, but I'm just saying, man, you in there seeing this dude bragging about he about to go home and you know you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Strict and uncomfortable schedule to adhere to. I'm going to say something. Um. What they are talking about, that even though he got a life sentence, and they was talking about if the laws change, that's actually true. Because um, there have been recent laws that have been passed in the last 10 years that if you committed a crime, no matter what it was, as a youth offender, um, you are eligible for parole under the new statutes and laws in certain states. So... This is why they say just keep hope alive and this is why they keep promoting um, rehabilitation. And while we talking about promotion and rehabilitations, check this out y'all. Right now I'm doing a special $50 per video to promote your products, your business, your social media channels, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, your OnlyFans, it don't matter. Right now we got a special offer for $50 two for 50 right now but here are the rest of the rates and services been in a bean boot camp is always an option but not always a lot of people feel like i'm gonna do boot camp so i can get out early you know you might be looking at five years and then the judge say okay i'll give you a choice either go do that five years in the pen or go do seven months in boot camp and i'm i'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all um I can't do it. I can't do it. You just give me my time. I, I, I'm i not getting up at no 4 o'clock in the morning. You all yelling and bulldogging me in the face. Pause. I said bulldogging in the face. But anyway, um, nah, man, just give me my time. I ain't got time for all that nonsense. But then if you really think about it, you like, I tell you, you can't sacrifice just six months of your life versus five years. I, uh, well, listen. I'm not committing no crimes anyway. But back then when I was a criminal, probably not. But on the other end, you got to be mentally strong for that type of um, get down. will be going on up in there with this boot camp stuff. But um, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Would y'all take that five years or would y'all go do that six months in boot camp? You know, actually, I think I could be a drill sergeant. <laughs> you know, just imagine me all up in somebody's face. But you do know what comes with that, too. You can't get punched in the face. And, well, I might end up back in there, too. So, uh, I don't know. Can Dante be a drill sergeant, y'all? Let me know. That is what you call detoxing. And we're going to leave it right there. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Until next time. Hey, did you know that I do promotions now? I promote all social media channels such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, I promote it. Also, I promote products and businesses also. So if you need promo, get in contact with me. All right, y'all, it's the fall season. Make sure y'all cop y'all military mind game merchandise. I got hoodies for you. I got shirts for you. I even got coffee mugs for you. Y'all see that hat? Y'all see that pillow? Make sure y'all cop y'all military mind game merchandise. I have the link pinned at the top of the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click this video. Until next time.